Hello, my name is Mr. Jones. I'm Deputy Head of Cantonian High School. I'm sharing with you information about the year ahead for your child through Year 11. Along with this video, the presentations from the heads of English, Maths, Science and Welsh departments. And these can be accessed through the website. I'm going to be talking about the restart specifically for Year 11 this year. And the fact that every lesson and assessment is going to count so much. Any changes to GCSEs following lockdown. And the qualifications your child will be sitting this year. Along with key dates as we know them so far. And some information about the support available. Let's start with where we are now. I know this has been a difficult and uncertain time for all of us. But I think more so for those facing exams this year. There's a lot of worry and doubt about what has gone on in the last six months and the work that may or may not have been done by the people in readiness for Year 11. However, I want to reassure every child in Year 11, this is a fresh start for every pupil. We've already been working hard in all subjects to prepare our pupils for the exams and year ahead. We have placed blended learning at the centre of our curriculum. We want to make sure that no matter what this year will bring, the pupils are able to access lessons, access support and be ready for anything in the future. It is essential, therefore, that your child can access Teams. They, used it. they do this through using their Hub account. They should already have had access to this during lockdown. If you have any problems, please see your form teacher. Also, once you're in Teams, it's important that your classes are all linked. So please check that's the case as well. I would also recommend to parents that they download and access the parent class chart's parent account so they can keep up to date on any progress of your child and it's a good way for school to stay in contact with you. As you're no doubt aware, last year the exam results were based on centre assessed grades. Each school was asked to allocate a, grade, allocate a grade based on evidence available to them. As you can imagine, across Wales and the country as a whole, the amount of evidence available was variable at best. The understanding is this year the pupils will all sit exams at the end of year 11. But clearly circumstances can change. And if we're in a situation next year where we have to use central assessed grades, we've been informed that the evidence is going to have to be much more rigorous in how it is collected and used. Mark Drakeford, the Welsh First Minister, in an interview last week, talked about how important mock exams were and how the wider range of evidence will be needed going forward if necessary. With that in mind, Everything we're doing with Year 11 at the moment is going to count into the evidence we have available. This is classroom assessments, any work, but especially mock exams as they come up through the year. The vital importance of these mock exams make me have to urge you that we, you support the school to making sure your child is aware of the need to work to achieve their best outcomes in any mock exams this year. And any coursework that they do through the year become even more important because this could form quite a substantial basis for any central assess grades. We can't ignore, of course, though, the fact that pupils did lose four months worth of work during year 10. And the exam boards have looked at the courses and adjusted them to remove certain components from them. Our teachers are aware of these changes and have built this into any course content for year 11. So in Year 11, we're currently offering a range of GCSEs and vocational courses. As you can see on the screen, we have the GCSEs at the top. These traditionally are the A star to G qualifications. that are primarily based on exam assessment with some coursework in some courses. In vocational subjects, that is generally coursework based or classroom assessment. And generally you'll have BTECs or skills chance certificates. Every pupil in Year 11 will work through compulsory qualifications and three options alongside them. The core subjects are Maths, English, Science and Welsh with skills in RE studied as well. For Maths there's two GCSEs, Numeracy and Maths. English has English Language and English Literature and most pupils in Year 10 have already achieved their English Literature qualification in Year 10. For science, there's double 
or triple award, depending on the options. And for Welsh, it is one GCSE. The Skills Challenge Certificate is part of the Welsh FAC qualification, and that's one equivalent GCSE. And for RE, they study Equality Diversity, which is a vocational subject, which is equivalent to B, so GCSE. Every pupil alongside these core subjects also studies three additional optional subjects. These are subjects such as history, art, drama, IT. Some key data as we know them so far. First of all, we'll start off with numeracy. There's a numeracy exam after the half term holidays in November. This is a full and final exam for the pupils. We feel it's a good opportunity for their pupils to bank an additional qualification and allow them to focus their studies on the full math GCSE following that exam. So far in preparation, the pupils have done really well. Of course, to support this, there's revision sessions after school. And in the October half term, there will also be a revision session on one of those days, but more information will follow. After the half term, on Tuesday the 3rd of November is the first paper. And on Thursday the 5th of November is the Unit 2 of the paper. So Unit 1 is generally a non-calculated paper, with Unit 2 as a calculated paper. Before both of these exams, there will be an opportunity for revision days, just to help get the pupils ready for the exams. In the summer of 2021, slightly later than most years, on the 17th of May, the summer exams start. And these run again later than normal to the 29th of June. That's the official end date. But clearly, as things could potentially change throughout this year, it could be pushed back even further. So what I would urge you to do is not to book any holidays until after the school, normally school, had finished at the end of July. And results then will come through on Thursday the 19th of August. One further item to note is through Year 11, generally in holidays, there is an opportunity for revision sessions. The most likely usual place for this to happen is during the Easter holidays of 2021 and in the May half term. To show you some support that is available to your pupil, your children, head of year 11 is Miss Davis. The head of pupil progress, which is like in charge of all pastoral teachers in school, is Miss Johnson. Exams officer is Mrs. Gallup. The additional learning needs coordinator is Mr. Griffiths. The form teachers, Ms. Edwards, Ms. Lahan, Ms. Walsh, Ms. Pearson, Mr. Mulroy, and Ms. Stanwick. And the Wellbeing and Child Protection Officers, Ms. Hull. And as I said before, to get a class chat's parent account, please contact Mr. Cook on the email address shown on the screen in front of you. So finally, this year seems like a long road ahead of us. There's so many more reasons than usual. But trust me that we'll be working hard to ensure your child is prepared supported and ready to achieve their best and work towards their brighter future. Thank you for listening.